G'day everybody, welcome back to this playthrough of Dinkum. As you can see, I've started the day right here on the beach. Uh, decided to just camp out here on the festive towel and uh, underneath the festive umbrella because why not? Uh, but anyway, if you're watching this, uh, the New Year's has just happened in real time. Uh, so coming to you from the past, have a happy New Year. Hopefully you had uh, a really good celebration or perhaps maybe you had a bit of a quiet one like I did. But uh, anyway, let's get the day started here. Uh, so we are already closer to town. Is there anything we can do here? Uh, yeah, we could potentially just put a few things away before we make it all the way back to the farm. So uh, let's just do that. So we'll chuck all of the things that we dug up yesterday and uh, this bottle brush we can also just store in that crate. But uh, yeah, I think we should actually just take the bike with us, make our way back home and uh, do all the usual stuff, all the farming and whatnot. Now, uh, considering it is now the new year, I'm not entirely sure if the festive update is still continuing. So, uh, I might actually quickly check something here on the map. Uh, I suppose maybe the best indication of that would be whether or not we can find Nick anywhere on the map. And, uh, it doesn't look like there's a question mark or a random question mark anywhere, guys. So. I think that's it for the festive update uh, and I don't know guys it was actually a pretty good update I uh, definitely had quite a bit of fun um, we managed to make ourselves a lot of stuff we didn't get absolutely everything that he uh, had to offer but I at least got all of the things that I wanted so uh, I guess that's really what counts right so <laughs> just gonna chuck our animal traps down. We are hanging on to this hang glider as well, which, uh, I don't know, I should actually put that back. Uh, forgot about this one message here from the bug tipster. Uh, it was after dark, there was a bug in the bushlands I've never seen before, thought you might like to know. I think the bug tipster might actually be Theo, to be honest he's the only one really interested in all the animals and he would probably be the the one person who can tell us whether or not we have seen certain animals uh, but anyway let's grab the fertilizer and let's put that away and uh, the poo can go there as well Totally forgot about a couple of items there in our inventory that we could have just placed down but anyway I'm going to put the PI hat away uh, and yeah let's continue with all of the work that we have to do in the farm today so shearers milking bucket the watering can uh, do we have the scythe yes we do okay so I think we're well equipped whoa okay that was uh, unexpected Like okay, I'm uh, just hitting him with random tools. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, wasn't the, the best because uh, I did lose a little bit of health there, but uh, that's okay. We'll cook up a crock meat or a couple of crock meat, and uh, let's see if he eats crock meat. No, he's not interested in crock, crock meat at all. So let's give him some normal meat. There you go. Good stuff. Alright, and we can have our breakfast. And, yeah, start watering the farm here. Now, I'm not entirely sure what we'll get up to today, guys. Uh, I have a feeling we may have some tasks that we may need to complete today. Because we might be running out of a, a bit of time to do them in. So, we'll check out what tasks we have. Uh, which we've already accepted and also maybe tasks that are still available 
on the board as well. Uh, and we might actually get stuck into those. But not before... Oh, here we go. I think this is our very first pumpkin harvest, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, very nice. Let's grab everything. Alright, there you go. And looks like we maybe forgot to water this patch, uh, I don't know, yesterday or maybe uh, previous days. So, we should actually uh, <laughs> make sure that we uh, are actually watering everything. We need to come back and replant some more cabbage there. We'll do that in a second though. Okay. Now one thing that I am thinking about doing guys is maybe we might spend a bit of time soon, maybe even today, uh, depending on what happens, but uh, I'm thinking maybe we should start upgrading some of our farm tools because uh, I think most of the tools go up to the iron uh, tier and uh, yeah it'd be useful to have let's say maybe uh, an iron watering can and that might actually speed up the process of uh, watering all of the crops because it does take us a while to do everything and if we can just water everything in like you know uh, massive blocks that would be nice so uh, just checking out the automated farm things are looking okay on this side um, so I'm just wondering guys whether or not the farm can be expanded even more to this side it possibly can, to be honest, because, uh, what, it's like 10 tiles, right? So, I, I'm certain that 10 tiles is a lot further than than just here. Maybe we can think about getting a, another couple of sprinklers and have the uh, fan expand a little bit more to this side. Anyway, problem for another day. <laughs> But now let's uh, look at the animals and see what's going on with them. Um, hopefully they've dropped some valuable poos. Yes, they have. All right, and let's get the milk. Nice pat for Faye and pat for Julia as well. Okay, I think we're done with the farm work. Uh, we should put some of our farming tools away. And I'm just trying to think here, do we have enough to make some fertilizer? Uh, I'm not entirely sure of maybe some of these other uh, shells, but let's see if we can just check the, uh, the box and see if we can actually make some stuff here. Absolutely. Oh, okay, so that takes 10. That's not bad. Cassidy shells. Okay, that needs 25. Oh, we can do another one with the sand dollar, actually. Oh, yeah, 15. Just. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's just put the shells back, and, uh, yeah, we should make it into town. Uh, and first order of things is we're going to... Oh, actually, sorry, guys. I almost forgot, but there's this patch that we need to... Uh, replant, don't we? So, let's have a look at our seeds. Yeah, we definitely have plenty of cabbage seeds to use, so uh, let's get the cabbage in here. Do we want to fertilize here? Uh, we don't really have a lot of fertilizer. Yeah, we only have a couple of bags of fertilizer, so let's hold off on the fertilizer for now, because uh, I feel like I want to try and save enough fertilizer for the uh, for the automated farm expansion because I think it'll be a lot more valuable to be used there uh, we do have some honey here and yeah uh, let's head into town and check out those tasks now with the festive update 
uh, being over, we've got a whole bunch of cherries sort of doing nothing right now. So I'm not entirely sure what we should do with that, guys. Uh, I mean, we could use them to recover HP if we wanted to. So we've got an investigation request here as well. Uh, Okay, Erwin wants 21 bush lime for uh, a shipping request. Okay, uh, well, we should actually get to those tasks. Uh, ooh, what is this? A kitchen sink. Can we actually do anything with it? It's not really a source of water or anything like that. I don't have my uh, watering can with me, so I can't really test that out, but... Anyway, uh, that's interesting. I will keep that, actually. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if there's any other sort of kitchen-related, uh, I guess, pieces of furniture. But if so, uh, that might go well together. Um, but yeah, for now, we might actually keep it in storage, and uh, we'll have to sort of decide... Uh, how to use that sometime soon. Sorry, getting a little confused here. Let's chuck the cheese in there. Uh, honey and cabbage goes in here. Uh, no, next one. Ores. Okay, eggs. A couple of random bits and bobs. Okay, got mangrove sticks. Let's put that away. Actually, um, maybe it might be a good idea to just craft ourselves some meat on a stick. I feel that would be uh, handy to have in times of emergency. Uh, we do have these pumpkins as well. Uh, our first ever harvest of pumpkins, which is good. So I'll keep them here with the uh, other stuff. Um, got some crock meat. Can uh, maybe move that into storage. Mangrove sticks. And yeah, we should actually get a few things going here while we're still in the workshop. Uh might actually have a quick look at what Rain has in her store. Maybe buy some more cabbage seeds. Because uh, we did already use quite a, a few of them. Just in case. Um, and let's see. I think it's really going to be about completing this uh, request for the bush limes. Uh, and we could maybe go out and do the investigation request as well. Um, just trying to think what else there is for us to do. Um, oh yes, maybe we can spend time upgrading all of our uh, farm tools. Alright, so let's just quickly clear the quarry for a second here. Alright, and I think it's time for us to set out and uh, do all of the things that we said that we were going to do. So, um, just quickly put that there. Oh yes, I uh, forgot about the gacha machine. So we got a spare copper axe. Not entirely sure if we really need that, but uh, that's okay. Maybe we can sell it to John. So hopefully we get something better tomorrow. Ooh, and uh, I mustn't forget, we we do have a house customization kit. We might actually check that out. Uh, welcome to John's Goods. How can I help? Uh, let's sell you the upper axe. Alright, very good. Yeah, so guys, uh, those cherries, I'm not totally sure what we should do with them. Uh, I'm just going to hold on to them for a little bit, but 
if you guys have any advice on, you know, what we should do with them, should we just use them up? Is there any recipes that we could potentially make with them? Or uh, perhaps maybe we should just plant them everywhere and have a whole bunch of cherries growing. I don't know. <laughs> no one seems to be requesting for cherries either, so it's not like we can give them away as part of like missions and stuff. Uh, I'm just going to put the kitchen sink right there. And actually, yes, the house customization kit. Should we check that out right now? We might as well, right? So how do I use this? Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah, so you just walk up to the house and uh, you should be able to customize. So customize this house? Absolutely. All right, so finally we can change our house to not look so uh, drab anymore. I think it's literally just painted white all over. So <laughs> we can customize the sides, the roof, the door, windows, and what's this? Ah, oh, okay, right, the, uh, the fencing. Okay, uh, let's start with the roof. Actually, sorry. Here we go. Hmm. I'm not gonna lie, guys, but I <laughs> kind of like the starting roof. Uh, that doesn't look too bad. Uh, what about the sides here? Did this even change anything? Oh, okay, just the thicker um, beams, I suppose. I kind of like the fourth one here. I might go with that, and let's check out the doors. Uh, this one is a little ugly. Looks like a convenience store door. <laughs> uh, I like having a window for my door, I think, so I'll, I'll use that. Um, well, uh, if we choose this one, the, the windows sort of match the door, but I think we'll probably go with something like that. That, that looks nicer, in my opinion. And, uh, the fencing, let's see. So we had the hedges for a while. Maybe it's high time we change it to something else. Actually, picket fence doesn't look too bad. We'll go with the picket fence. Uh, and I think you can actually, yeah, here we go. So you can, uh, change the color of the roof and the color of the sides of the house. So, uh, I think everything is white so far, but things are coming up pink here. I'm guessing this is because of the sunlight. Uh, things are sort of, uh, I guess having a, a slight pinkish slash orangish, uh, orangish hue because of the, uh, the sunset. Um, well, I mean, we've got to have a blue house, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know guys, that doesn't look like it's blue to me. Maybe it's because of the timing that we're doing things in. Uh, look, uh, I, I don't know guys, this looks like it's purple to me, but uh, I assume we can use multiple house customization kits if we didn't like something. So let's try this and let's just inspect it at a different time. Hopefully it does turn out to be sort of bluish in color. Um, but uh, yeah, we sort of need to think about another color here for the um, for the roof. I think uh, maybe a, a grey would be good. So grey and blue. Uh, can we change the, the... Oh yes we can. We can change the trim. That's nice. So... Yeah, maybe something like that. Although, yeah, that, that looks pretty horrid. <laughs> uh, I have nothing against purple, guys. It's just not my favourite colour, that's all. Um, I think this is literally due to the, uh, the 
effect of the sunlight. But anyway, look, let's use it. And if I can't stand it, then we'll go back to John and buy another house customization kit. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's pretty horrid. Um, not going to lie. Uh, I don't know. There's something about the blue color in the uh, options that don't seem to make it blue. Uh, so anyway, it is almost quitting time for John. I might actually quickly go and see him and buy another kit because, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not having that. <laughs> um, we gotta. We gotta change things up. I think. Um, yeah, see, John's got a nice looking color there. I wish we could just have whatever he's got. So, welcome to John's Goods. How can I help? Uh, actually, I'm good. Sorry, uh, I wanted to buy your customization kit. So, there we go. Easy. Yeah, I can't believe we're just like going in and just randomly buying all this stuff. You know, 25,000, no sweat. But, uh, you know, on the first few days, it was like, damn, this is expensive. <laughs> now it's like, eh, easy, easy. Oh, yeah, look at that. Shocking, shocking. Uh, we definitely have to change things up, guys. Sorry. Um, I know it may seem like a waste of 25,000, but, uh, you know, for the sake of experimentation. Um... Yeah, uh, I don't think there is a blue color that I actually like, to be honest. So uh, I think we're going to um, tame things down a little bit. Uh, so what I might do is I might do a light brown um, exterior. And the trim, I think we can... Yeah, yeah, this this hue of blue is not right. I think it needs to be uh, bluer, if that makes sense, because this is coming out purple. Um, hmm. Or we can have some red. And what about the... Roof. Okay. Yeah. Still not not the greatest color. <laughs> uh, I'm going for a, a gray color for the roof because I'm sort of simulating, uh, you know, just corrugated iron uh, roof. Because uh, a lot of houses in Australia do have uh, that type of roof. Uh, all right. I think that's not a bad look. So let's confirm. And there we go. Uh, we sort of look like we're color coordinating uh, with the outfit. But uh, anyway, since it's not the festive season anymore, I am probably going to start wearing some normal clothes from tomorrow. Uh, let's see here. Let's drop whatever this is. And speaking of the festive update being over, guys, uh, look, I'm a big believer in keeping the Christmas spirit alive for as long as possible. <laughs> <laughs> so I might keep a lot of the festive decorations up um, for a little bit of time at least. But uh, yeah, I will eventually uh, take them down. So, But anyway, let's head out to this investigation request. So we'll quickly get that done. Oh, sorry, mate. Um, and once we do that, we'll head back into town. I think we've got a whole bunch of bush limes sort of growing in and around town. So we'll grab all of the necessary bush limes for Erwin. I think we need to complete his request by today as well. So uh, yeah, we, we should actually do that. Uh, and that might be the day guys, unless we have a little bit more time to work with. Um, we might do a few other things. Maybe uh, some of the crafting that I mentioned before to upgrade all of our tools. But uh, anyway, investigation request is done. Actually, we don't even have to turn that in, don't we? Uh, investigation requests are just simply uh, like, you know, 
item grab missions. Um, and you don't actually get a reward for it. Um, I just remembered that we've got the uh, the bridge over here that's missing some steps. So we'll quickly fix that up. Okay, almost eight o'clock. Very good, and we definitely need some more stone steps, I reckon. But uh, anyway, let's head back into town and we'll start searching for all of those bush limes that we need. Yeah, not a bad looking house actually. So we should think about getting another house customization kit for uh, the spare house that we've got in town. Alright, um quickly park the bike and walk around town like a civilized person. Uh, okay, bush limes. I'm sure we have plenty more bush limes sitting around somewhere. For some reason we've got like tons of Kwandong trees. Uh, anyway, looks like a couple of trees over here. Any more? This is where the coconut farm is. I won't really bother too much with it because uh, I feel like that's just a bit of a distraction for now. Got plenty of coconuts in the inventory anyway. Well, not inventory, in storage. Um, how are we doing? 18. Just three more. Very good. Alright. Um, and got a whole bunch of ores here, so let's grab that since we can. Very nice, okay. And I just want to have a chat with Erwin because, yeah, I don't want to forget to turn in the request and fail it because I think this is the last day. Um, there he is. Whoa, you scared me, Blue. I completed your request, mate. Wow. You really got the shipment ready for me? Yep, here's 21 bush limes. Thanks a lot, Blue. You really saved me. I didn't think I would get that shipment filled. Here's 9,000 dink. Nice. Okay. I, I forget that um, the requests that you complete from people actually give you some permit points as well, but we're actually almost uh, getting up to 10,000 permit points. We should actually have a chat with Fletch about uh, getting the, the flight license, or whatever it's called. But uh, anyway, since we're here in town, I think the next order of things is doing a whole bunch of workshopping. Uh, so I do want to craft all of those upgraded tools, so that'll be the priority. But since we're here, we can also do a whole bunch of stuff like smelting, uh, maybe cu cutting up like, you know, uh, wood planks and all that sort of stuff for uh, future use. Um, let's just put some of these things away. Actually, no, we do want some of the ores. Uh, okay. Yep. And yeah, I think first order of things, let's check on what we need to craft uh, the iron tools. Okay, so we need the co copper watering can and five iron bars. For the iron hoe, we need a copper hoe and an iron, some iron bars as well. And is there a scythe? Ah, oh, yes, there is. Yeah, similar sort of stuff here. So we just need the previous version of the tool uh, and a whole bunch of iron bars to create them. So I have a feeling we're going to run out of iron bars here. So let's get iron bars on the go in the smelter. Uh, got a shiny stone here we can start to grind up. And... Okay, I think uh, the next order of things while things are going here is going back home and quickly grabbing all of our farm tools. Okay. 
and uh, yeah, converting all of them to uh, the maximum tier. I think we don't really have a copper scythe or a, uh, a copper hoe, don't we? So we're going to have to upgrade them to the copper tier first before we can, uh, you know, max them out into the iron one. So uh, anyway, let's quickly park and yeah, I think that would be uh, our main activity for the night. Unless we want to get into uh, crafting a few other things as well. Let's actually get the sugar cane in there and that should free up a little bit more space. There we go. Uh, let's get the iron in our tool belt there. Uh, Alright, so let's start with the iron watering can. So, do we have enough iron bars here? No. Uh, so let's just grab some more. That should be enough for the iron watering can. And we can make the next tier copper hoe here, so let's do that. And we're going to need to do the same for the scythe. I don't think we've got enough copper bars. Oh, we've got some here, so that's good. Alright, let's get that. Very good. And anything else we can do here? Oh, I actually forgot to start the iron uh, smelting. Now, uh, since we're doing a whole bunch of crafting and whatnot, uh, I just want to quickly check if there's anything else that we can craft while we're here. Um, we could potentially spend a bit of time making some more benches uh, and just placing more benches around town or actually we should think about decorating the town with more flowers and whatnot so we could maybe make like flower pots or maybe even flower beds um, Oh, actually guys, uh, now that we can make sprinklers pretty easily, we should get this, the brick fountain. We wanted to make a brick fountain ages ago, but we couldn't because we, <laughs> we didn't have what it takes to make the sprinklers. So let's track that because uh, I think it'll be pretty nice to actually get the fountain up and running in the center of town. So uh, let's continue grinding some more flour. Let's keep smelting, but uh, let's do what we need to do to upgrade our tools here. So we've got the hoe and we've got the scythe. Very nice. So that's it for the, uh, I guess, farm tool upgrades. Let's just quickly check out what it can do. Oh, wow. Okay. So it can really till a lot more soil in the one go and the scythe as well can literally just like cut like double the amount that uh, we had before that's gonna be useful uh, for larger farms and hopefully it'll make uh, the process of farming a little bit quicker but uh, anyway let's see what we can do to craft the fountain actually before we make the fountain, we need a sprinkler first, right? So let's actually track the sprinkler. Uh, and we're probably going to need some iron, sorry, not iron, copper bars for that. Uh, let's keep going with the copper. And more iron as well. But let's grab what we need here. So we need old springs and old gears. And we need quartz crystals, plenty of that, and we've got enough copper bars, fantastic. So let's create this, awesome, and now we just need all the stuff for the actual fountain. So the sprinkler we have, we just need cement and stone. Uh, let's just keep the wheat grinding here, uh, stone and cement, there we go. 
Nice. And there we go. We've got a brick fountain already. So just going to drop a little bit more iron. Pick the rest of the stuff up here. And yeah, I'm just going to quickly store stuff. Uh, and we're going to be calling it a night, but not before placing down our brand new town centerpiece, which is the the brick fountain. I wonder if there are any different versions of the fountain, because this one's a brick one. And although that's probably the, the best one for our town, because, uh, you know, we're keeping things pretty rustic here. Um, maybe there might be, you know, like marble ones or, you know, um, different styles of fountains, perhaps. Um, just want to place it in the right spot. Um, how do we feel about it being there? Yeah, I don't think that's a bad look. Very good. Happy with that. Finally, uh, a decent centerpiece. So we had to remove the cement birdbath, so we'll have to think about where to keep that birdbath uh, in the future, but uh, that's probably a, a future episode problem uh, because it is late and uh, I'm keen on getting a little bit of shut-eye. Uh, not a bad day though, to be honest, because we completed a couple of tasks, um, and we upgraded all of our tools, so we should be farming a little bit quicker now. And check out the house, uh, house is looking fantastic. Uh, yeah, we did a lot of stuff today, guys, I'm pretty happy about that. Anyway, leave a like, dislike, or a comment or two down below. Stay true, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.